So I've gone ahead here and added a few things from my media library. Of course, you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to show here the real basics, the quick way to create hotspots as well as uh, to create tests within your environment. Remember, these two features just add on the top of whatever video that you're currently running or whatever you're currently doing within your Camtasia screen. These are just add-ons. So let's say I want to make a, a button out of this home here. So I, lit I literally just go over here and, whoops, sorry about that. I go over here and I click on Interactive Hotspot. See here that I have this is highlighted. So I'm just going to drag this down on top of that text. Once I get to that text, I can go over here and I can see the interactive hotspot. And here on my screen, it will allow me to work with this interactive hotspot and to make it do certain things that I want it to do. So for example, if I just want it, if I want it to pause, meaning that I want the the video to pause at the once it displays my once it displays my button, if I want it to pause, you know, to collect feedback, especially if I have multiple buttons on here, I can tell it to pause. All right. I can also tell it to go to a specific URL if I want. Uh, when I click on the button, I can also tell it to go to a specific place on the timeline. And it's important to note that that place on the timeline is this number right here. So that's 0214. So if I wanted that button to go to 0214, I would type it in there. And then um, let's move this down here. And then we can test that. And notice the player head moves back to that spot, 0214. So that's pretty easy. And then, um, and then we can go ahead and add different buttons. So that's how you make a button out of your screen. Now let's add a quiz at the at right in the middle of this presentation. So we want to add a quiz. We just go to interactivity and we say add to the timeline. Notice here it pops up with quiz one. We just click on it. Here we can select all types of answers that we want to use. Pretty self-explanatory there. The, the multiple choice though, here you would put in your question. Here you would put in your answer. For example, answer one, answer two, answer three, whoops. And then you select which one of them is the correct answer. So whichever one's the correct answer. Then if you wanna display feedback or have other actions occur, you can do that as well. So for example, if it's correct, I want to, I can say something, right? Like congratulations, okay? Or if it's incorrect, I can tell it uh, to go to a URL. So I'm going to jump, I can go to a place, a marker, a timer within this timeline, or I can go to a URL. So if I wanted to go to a URL, I can just type in google.com, for example, and go specifically to that URL. And then I can add other questions along the way. Once, when you save this environment, uh, a lot of folks save to local file or they save to screencast.com. And let me just walk through the differences. Screencast.com, you have to have your screencast account, which is free. So it's very easy to set up. Then you have to give the name. And I'm just going to name this test. All right. And then I'm going to hit next. And then where the answers go right once people give the answers they can go here so i'm going to type this in now i prefer to use a question to ask for their email uh, but you can require it uh, here as well and then you can adjust the way the quiz looks through here and then you just hit finish and then it's going to render that and then it's going to go ahead and open that up so we're going to go ahead and take a look here and see what that looks like when it opens it up. So it's going to open up right into Screencast. Notice here's the title. I'm going to hit play. And here it's going to prompt me for a username and password. Right. So I'm just going to put that in again. All right. Now, what's a little confusing, and I haven't figured out how to modify this, is that this is asking for the quiz information up front. So it kind of throws users off sometimes. So um, you want to kind of... Just be aware of that. Now, I was speaking, but I don't know if you noticed, there was a little white click right here, a little white square. 
that says, okay, I'm going to start up, I'm going to go all the way to here, and I'm going to stop here. Remember, within Camtasia, we stopped here, right? Not at the end, but we're actually stopping to take the quiz. So if we just say take the quiz now, I can answer whichever one it is, and let's see which one I chose to go to. If, uh, if incorrect, we're going to go to Google. So here, my correct answer is answer two, so I'm going to pick answer one. Hit submit. It tells me that it's wrong. Once I hit continue at this point, it's going to automatically go ahead and open up Google uh, to that web page, whatever web page uh, you decide to go to. So that's pretty much it for setting up hotspots and uh, setting up a quiz within your environment. It's very flexible, the, um, and you just kind of have to play with it. If you want to get rid of this, it's kind of kind of be a nuisance sometimes. You can just click, whoops, you can just click on that button right there, and it'll keep the the green tag there indicating that there is a quiz, but it won't constantly see because I can add another quiz here, right? I can add another quiz here. So it's just kind of an irritant. So um, so I just like to take it off the screen.